Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I'm going to show you how to now export directly out of Adobe Audition right to Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe always does a great job of making applications talk amongst themselves. I'm going to start in Premiere Pro, send a dynamic link over to Audition, and then from Audition go directly to Media Encoder. So it's all connected. All right. So here is my sequence that I'm working on. All you have to do on the left hand side, select that, right click, edit in Audition, sequence. And here you get to send this, the whole sequence or just an in and out. Um, you also get to send it through dynamic link or export out a preview or no video at all. So maybe you just want to send uh, the multi-track audio, but I'm going to send everything and a dynamic link to the video. That means that the video is being compiled through dynamic link into the preview in Audition. Let's go have a look at Audition. So this is the same project and over on the left hand side in my video, panel, I can send, I can choose a resolution, a scaling, I can even go out to a secondary display or use transmit if I wanted to. So the benefit here is I'm inside Audition and Audition is built for audio. Great for audio sweetening, mixing and doing all of that stuff but I'm still connected to my Premiere Pro project. The audio is here, the video is coming through Dynamic Link. Now we could do that before, but the great thing is you can send this now directly to Media Encoder because at this point you might be scratching your head and saying, well, how do I get this back into here, over to there? And before you had to mix all of this down and send it back to uh, Premiere Pro. Now we can go direct to Media Encoder. It's as simple as choosing File, Export, export with media encoder. You get to pick any of the formats that you have. So if you don't have a specific uh, preset for formats, um, you can create your own in media encoder and it would show up in here. You can choose the encoder preset for that particular format. You can see the th format setting and here are the uh, routing options. So if I click on change, I can go in here and update and change any of the routing options and I can save and use different presets. Now when I click OK, it's exporting the document with Media Encoder. And if we go to Media Encoder, you can see it's exporting the file directly out with the settings that I applied and the routing that I applied in um, Audition. This just makes it so much easier to take your audio editing and marry it up with the video editing that's coming from Premiere Pro and send it out to the trusted resource that, that I love to use, which is Media Encoder. That's the place where everything goes out, whether it's Premiere Pro, Audition, or After Effects. It's going out through Media Encoder, through all of the presets that I work. This is a short one. It's a quick one, but it's important for anybody who is using Adobe Audition within their workflow already, and they've been scratching their head saying, you know what? I don't want to mix yet again. I don't want to send out a bunch of stems and bring them back. I know what I'm doing in Audition. Please let me go out directly to any of the settings. That's what we've got here. All right. Hopefully you've found this informative. If you have and you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your support up another level, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you listening, sounding, and looking your best.